Hello folks. It is a cold, rainy October day. The clouds are rolling in. I can hear Lizzo playing from someone's car outside my not very well sealed windows. And we are about to film an empties video. This is the July empties, so all the products I used up in the month of July, even though it is October. It is October 1st as I am filming this, so I'm a little bit behind still. You guys don't seem to mind that I'm behind. I mind because I have to have this stuff just sitting around my house and I keep like moving it and it's just annoying. So I'm really happy to be getting another one filmed so I can throw these things away. My battery's already dying and I just started the video. Cool. Quickly, before we get into the video, I just wanted to talk about something. So um, I did not want to film this video today and the reason for that is because my skin is freaking out. It might not look as bad as it is on camera. It's also on the downhill, but it was really, really bad. I, was, I just was like, I don't really want to get on camera with my skin looking like this because I know that it will probably look better in a few days, but I need to get these videos filmed and I didn't want to wait. And also like this is normal. People's skin freaks out and I wanted to just show that it's normal, I guess. It's kind of freaking out a lot right here and then going down my neck, which anytime you're breaking out in these areas, it's pretty much always hormonal acne and I'm pretty sure it got all messed up because when I was traveling, I was in Italy last week and when I came back just with like the time change and traveling and everything, I got all like off on my birth control and I think the hormones just kind of freaked out and 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 then this happened so i just kind of wanted to talk about it because it got me thinking i was like why is this little bit of acne bothering me so much when i look back at old videos old photos of myself and it was so much worse so much worse it was covering my entire face this is nothing compared to that a year two years ago i would have been thrilled if my skin looked like this and while it is really good to look back and like be grateful of where you are at now, it doesn't mean it can't still be frustrating now. Like in my Accutane video, I had a girl in the comments basically shame me for my acne. She was like, your acne is not even that bad, even though it was covering my entire face. She was like comparing her acne to mine and saying mine wasn't even that bad and I shouldn't be complaining. But the thing is, just because your acne is not as bad as it can possibly be, doesn't mean it doesn't still hurt really bad and it doesn't mean it's not so incredibly frustrating because it just like keeps coming back no matter how old you get, no matter what you use, no matter what you do. I don't know, it's the whole, what, what's the quote? Like just because someone's in a full body cast next to you doesn't mean that your broken arm doesn't hurt. Like it's that whole thing. So that even applies to myself. Like I try to compare myself to how my acne was and yeah, it's way better and that's awesome. But also like it still sucks now. Does that make sense? Anyway, I just wanted to kind of vent about that because uh, I wasn't even gonna film today because I was so like just mad at it. But we're filming, let's do this. Oh wait, 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 one more thing before we get into the empties. I wanted to quickly run through what makeup I'm wearing on my face. I did put makeup on and it made me feel way better. And you know what? That is a beautiful thing about makeup is, yeah, I don't need it. I have run like a thousand errands the past two or three days with no makeup on my face, but also makeup makes me feel better. So like, that's just really cool. And I know I like when people tell me what products they're wearing on their face. So I thought you would like that also. For foundation, I'm wearing the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I really don't know my thoughts on this, which is why I've never reviewed it. It's a light coverage foundation. You can still see all of my acne scars coming through. And I used quite a bit of this. Um, it's not super dewy or super matte. It's right in the middle. So there's just like not much to say about it. It's just a very very like standard light coverage natural looking foundation. I haven't noticed anything bad about it though and I really really like the shade match on me. I'm in the shade 52 vanilla. Underneath that for my highlighter which is kind of coming through is the liquid glow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Mine is in the shade Perla. For mascara I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer which I don't usually use a lash primer but I thought I would try it out today and holy crap my lashes are intense right now. And then the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I've really been liking that. Oops. On my lips, I have a little bit of the Sunny's Face lipstick in the shade Nudist, but it's mostly all worn off. But I did just want to mention it. Uh, you can't get this in the US very easily and they don't make it in this cool clear packaging anymore, but you can find it. It's out there. 
On my eyes, I have the Desi X Katie Friendcation palette. I pretty much just used all the matte shades from this. Um, you can get this exact same look using like Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. I do that all the time. And then just like a few other matte shades uh, to blend it out. Super easy, super simple. You could also probably get that same look with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. And speaking of e.l.f., on my cheeks, I used this little cream blush and bronzer duo from e.l.f. It is in this shade, um, St. Lucia. And then I just have the e.l.f. brow pencil in and a little bit of my Sephora gel serum concealer, but I didn't put any on this because I'm kind of trying to let it like breathe even though there's foundation on it. So now let's get into the empties finally. The first product that I used up is the Dove uh, Advanced Care Go Fresh Deodorant. This is my favorite antiperspirant to use. It does a really great job at controlling my sweat and um, my underarms get irritated really easily with most deodorants. And this is one of the only ones that's kind of like soothing on them. <laughs> Look, Croy break, hang on. Not sponsored. Nine times out of 10, I'm wearing regular deodorant, but one time out of 10, I'm wearing natural deodorant. The one that I go for is the Tarte Clean Queen deodorant. This is just a mini. I am working on the full size now but this is my favorite natural deodorant. I don't think there's anything wrong with using a regular aluminum antiperspirant, but there are days when I kind of want to sweat. Like if I'm going to yoga, hot yoga especially, and I know I'm gonna be sweating anyway, I would rather just sweat and not smell bad, AKA use just a deodorant, than even bother with something like this. So on those days when I just want to mask the smell but not the sweat, I use a natural deodorant and this is my favorite one. Um, I highly recommend doing your own research into the whole natural deodorant thing. Obviously everyone needs to decide what they put in and on their own bodies and that's for you to decide, not for me to tell you, but there is just a lot of research um, talking about that literally the way deodorant antiperspirant works is that it doesn't sink into your skin. I don't really want to get into all that so just do your own research and yeah I'm just I'm just gonna stop talking about that right now. But one thing I will say is that a lot of times when people are talking about natural deodorants not working for them I think they're getting them confused with antiperspirants. A deodorant isn't meant to stop you from sweating. An antiperspirant is. So any natural deodorant, it's not going to make you stop sweating. It's only going to deodorize, you know? Okay, glad we're all on the same page there. All right, the second product that I used up is a little Glossier Boy Brow. I have mine in the shade, um, okay, it doesn't say, does it say? Brown. This is probably my second or third tube of this stuff. It's my favorite um, volumizing brow gel. So of all the brow gels that add any like fibers or color or anything like that, this is my favorite of all of them. It's kind of Thick. Like the consistency that I would compare this to is pudding, which sounds weird, but um, some of them, like another one that I'm actually going to talk about next, are much thinner. But this one is thick like pudding. It has a really nice small spoolie that doesn't put too much product out onto your brows. It's not too big. It like fits within your brow. It's just a really solid, solid product. I mostly use this on days when I'm not really doing my makeup. Um, so I don't want to like sit there and go in with a brow pencil. I'll just throw some of this on. It's a much more natural look. And a product like this is going to be best for someone who has a lot of brow hairs and you just want them darkened. This isn't going to add any strokes or any hairs like a pencil would. This is just going to amplify what's already there. So this is best for someone with lots of brow hairs, but maybe they're like lighter than you'd like or something like that. I finally used up my little tiny sample trial size of the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. This is basically for days when you air dry your hair. Sadly, I discovered this at like the very end of having long hair and I bought the full size and then I basically chopped all my hair off. So. Uh, I rarely use it anymore. It was much more useful when I had long wavy hair because I would air dry my hair all the time then and this just made it like not frizzy. It brought out the waves a little bit more. It just it did an unexplainable magical thing to my hair that now that it's short, it doesn't really do a lot for me anymore. I'll still use it sometimes and I think it does help with just kind of making it air dry less frizzy but my hair's not super frizzy anyway, so. If you have long hair, this is one of my top product recommendations. Like, if you have not used this, you need it in your life. It's amazing. If you don't have long hair, it's, um, uh, you probably don't need it. I used up the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I did um, a bunch of reviews on cleansing balms 
a long time ago on my Instagram and uh, this one again not one of my faves people rave about this thing I don't think it does very good at removing makeup it kind of left a film behind on my face and it definitely left like eye makeup and things like that on my face so I just think there are much better out there would not recommend this the Bosha makeup breakup cleansing oil is my fave I've said that so many times in these videos but if you're new here uh, that's my favorite cleansing oil it gets everything off Oh my god, we have to talk about this product. This from Pixi is, uh, the name is like completely worn off. It doesn't look empty, but it's like a colored tube and then there's like little rose particles in there. So trust me, this is empty. This is the Pixi Rose Caviar Serum and I was sent this from Pixi. They're like the only brand that sends me PR. I was sent this, but I was fully ready to purchase this on my own once this ran out. I had it on my like grocery list of things to pick up when I went to Target. But then like right when I got to here, they sent me a new one. So I'm already on my second one, but I was fully intending to purchase it myself. That's how much I love this thing. This is my favorite serum. Like even when I was on Accutane and had dry skin, this just felt so good. It feels like water, like your skin just drinks it up, but it does have some different oils and things in it, but nothing that broke me out. I don't even like the smell of rose, but this doesn't smell too strongly of rose. And I just can't even describe how hydrating this serum feels. Also, I feel like you get a ton of product. You get 1.52 ounces. I recommend this to everyone. If you have super dry skin all the way to super oily, I think you will really like this if you like a really thirst quenching serum. I used up a very broken Maybelline Fit Me stick foundation. This is in the shine free version. I'm not sure if there's like a dewy version, but this is the shine free version, even though it's actually a pretty, I'd say it's a satin finish. It's not a matte finish, but no one talks about this foundation stick at all. Um, I personally love it and I have for a long time. Obviously I used the stick up, which took a while. I have mine in the shade 220 and I think I would actually repurchase this foundation. It's a medium coverage. It just looks so nice on the skin. It just makes my skin look really alive. It gives it just a hint of a glow without being too much. I like that it's in stick form. All my other stick foundations are like full coverage. So I like having an option that's not full coverage. It comes with this little like balm core in the middle that's supposed to control your shine. I don't think it does that, but I still do love this foundation. And I think it's like super inexpensive. But like no one talks about it and I think a lot of people hate it and I'm not really sure why. I was freezing in this apartment before and now I am sweating. All right, ladies, gents, if you have acne, any body acne, you need this next product in your life. You need it yesterday. This is the Alba Botanica acne dote face and body scrub you can get this at target it completely cleared up my body acne i don't know i don't know what to tell you it's i just this stuff is legitimately life-changing and i don't say that to be dramatic i mean if you have body acne you know how much it sucks you feel like you can't wear certain things this cleared up my body acne. It has salicylic acid in it. It has um, willow bark extract. It's it like, oh my God, I love this. It is a body scrub, but it also kind of lathers up. It smells, it smells very like herbal, minty a little bit. I will never stop using this, especially in the summer. It is just a necessity for me to have this product. I recommend it to everyone. I just wanna like shout it from the rooftops. If you struggle with body acne, you need to go to Target. You need to get this stuff. Thank me later. You're welcome. Is anyone else obsessed with tiny things? Like if anything is a miniature version of something, I'm completely obsessed with it. This particular cute, adorable mini is the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. It is completely gone. I like scraped it out. Like it's gone. It's gone. I love this concealer with my whole heart. It is a very hydrating concealer. It actually comes with an entire, like you know how the Maybelline Fit Me has a core of like some kind of balm. This has a core of concealer surrounded by some kind of balm and that balm is the magic. It is amazing for around your eyes. I don't really use this for spots because it's, I don't really want to put some kind of like moisturizing thing on acne I'm trying to get rid of, but around my eyes, the Benefit Fake Up Concealer is magical. If you have tiny little fine lines around your eyes, which like who doesn't, this 
balm in this concealer, I swear, fills in the fine lines. Almost like a pore filling primer does for your pores. This does that for the fine lines around your eyes. If you have like dryness around your eyes, it just like plumps, hydrates them. I love it so much. It's not super full coverage. So if you have really bad dark circles or something, this probably is not gonna be enough for you. That's not something that, well, it's something I sometimes struggle with, but it's not something I care much about. So I don't go for like super high coverage under eye concealers. I would say this is light to medium coverage, probably medium coverage, but I just, I am obsessed with how this like just fills in and makes my under eyes look so much younger. And how cute is the little mini? Okay, I used up this little Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This was definitely a point perk of some kind. I did not purchase this. I gotta be honest, I don't remember much about this other than that it was very, very thick and hydrating. Like the thickest, most hydrating cream I think I've ever used. Um, but I don't remember anything else about it other than that. Sorry. I do remember, however, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Uh, Alana Davison loves the primerizer. Tons of people love the primerizer. To me, it's just a moisturizer. Like, I don't see what this does other than moisturize, and therefore, like, why not just use your moisturizer? But I don't know, maybe that's because I don't have dry skin. Maybe if you have dry skin, you do notice that this does something other than what a regular moisturizer does. I just didn't. Oh, I forgot to talk about this earlier. Uh, I was gonna talk about it right after the boy brow. This one is the Essence Make Me Brow, and a lot of people absolutely love this as a dupe for the boy brow or for, there's one from Benefit that's like a volumizing brow gel. I am not one of those people. I'm not, I, I don't like this. Um, the wand is nice, sort of. It's pretty small. It is bigger than the Glossier one, and I find that a lot of product comes out that I have to scrape off. Um, as you can see, like compared to my brow, it's a nice size though. But this does nothing to my brows. It, I, like I run it through and I like look at one brow compared to the other, and I can't tell that I did anything. This is so liquidy, especially compared to the boy brow, that I just think it, it's not like putting any product in my brow when I use this. And it doesn't really like hold them in a shape. This this does nothing for me. And I know that that's an unpopular opinion. People love this thing. And I, I mean, it's so inexpensive that if this does work for you, that's amazing. It just doesn't do anything for me, which I don't know, maybe I got a bad one or something, but uh, yeah, not a fan. Okay, four more products. We got a little foil packet of the Tata Harper Resurfacing Serum. I remember nothing about this, uh, but I still wanted to include it because it is something that I used up. We've also got our trusty e.l.f. makeup wipes. I talk about these, I feel like, in almost every video. I don't think they're that great, but they work just fine. I mostly use these when I'm either taking swatches off of my hand or to clean other makeup products. Like, you know how your makeup products just kind of get makeup on them? These are great for that. And I use them whenever I'm just playing around with makeup. Like I'm gonna do an eye, take it off, do another eye, take it off, maybe try some winged liner, take that off. I use these for that. And the last product that we have to talk about is the Biore Free Your Pores Baking Soda Acne Scrub. This is a really mild scrub. It's not gonna like feel like you're really getting in there, but it does have salicylic acid in it, which I've said many times my skin loves salicylic acid, so uh, my skin does like this quite a bit. These come in the Walmart beauty boxes, which are like $5 for a box and they come quarterly. I've never actually purchased one of these, but I feel like I've used like four or five of them at least. So uh, I don't think it's something I would purchase because I probably won't have to because Walmart will probably send me another one in the next box. Okay. I think that was everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just film the August one right now while I've got everything set up here. So I will probably be in the exact same outfit unless something comes up. If you wanna watch all my other empties videos, I've done one for every single month of the year, January through July now. Um, I will link them all below in the description box. Please like this video if you like empties videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so you don't lose me out there on the internet and you can catch all of my future empties videos through the rest of the year. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.